Uh, my name is Ilya Elyashevsky. I'm an Android product manager for uh, DataViz Inc. Uh, we have actually two applications for Android currently. Uh, we have RoadSync, which is a Microsoft Exchange ActiveSync client, uh, and that provides secure wireless and direct push synchronization with Microsoft Exchange 2003 and 2007. Um, and it pushes your email, your contacts, and uh, we're now demoing support for Calendar as well. Uh, then the other application that we uh, have for Android is Documents to Go, which is available on a wide variety of mobile platforms as well. And Documents to Go uh, is currently available on Android ma market, supporting Microsoft Word and Excel, Office 2007, um, viewing and editing. And what we're demonstrating at Google I.O. is uh, our upcoming support for PowerPoint and PDF. Uh, well, Android's a, a great opportunity. Uh, at at DataViz, we see a lot of potential behind uh, the current devices that are in the market, as well as where we think uh, some of our partners are, are going to be headed with that. Um, and it's just a, it's a great device. It's really easy to use. And I think our engineers have been uh, pleasantly surprised with uh, developing on Android and the flexibility that it offers. So uh, we're excited to bring some productivity uh, to the Android platform. So are there any particular war stories that you recollect as part of your development or a and how you got through that? Uh, there were not actually. It's uh, you know it sounds cheesy, um, but really there aren't too many horror stories. Um, there's some things that we like to see. Uh, for example, we would like to plug into the built-in uh, calendar um, and have your exchange data go into the same place where your Google Calendar might be synchronizing, and that's not currently possible. Um, but it's not a horror stir, uh, story. You know we have some clever workarounds for how we're going to be uh, supporting that feature. Um, but to be honest, our development, um, as we've taken some of our solutions and ported them to Android, has gone a lot quicker than we, than we ever expected. Um, we had prototyped uh, the concepts for both applications, and the prototypes went so quickly that we, the project actually w was hard to catch up with in order to spec out. It was almost, it was nearing completion without actually defining it, which was totally unusual and actually great. You know, there's no way, no way around that. Um, so we have a couple, a couple new features. Uh, the primary one that uh, probably sticks out and is the most useful is in Documents to Go. Uh, we're now supporting live folders. Um, and what that means is you can add on the desktop of, of your Android device, you can add a, a live folder for your recently used documents in Documents to Go. So with our upcoming support for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF, any file that you downloaded as an attachment or you opened on an expansion card um, will show up in this dynamic list. Um, so you have quick access and all your files right at your fingertips. So uh, that's a cool enhancement. Um, and I actually, I've been using it quite a bit, just uh, not just demoing, but as we're traveling for the show. Right, great. Um, what specific tips and tricks did you use um, in developing your applications? Um, I'm not really sure what, what tips and tricks uh, we used. Uh, we have some clever things that we're doing or things that are, are nice on Android. So for example, with RoadSync, uh, when we're syncing your, your contact information down to the device, you support email addresses, um, home addresses, business addresses. And what's nice is since we're populating the built-in contacts application, uh, we then, uh, by default, get support for Google Maps. So you can just click on the, uh, the contacts address and it'll show where they live and how you get there. Um, and now with, with Cupcake, we've also added support for uh, the on-screen keyboard and new selection modes with documents to go. So if you don't have a physical keyboard, um, you can now access menus and, and things accordingly. So are there some features that you can do in your app that you weren't able to do on other platforms? Um, well, like I, like I said, just uh, going into the built-in uh, contacts database, the one thing with, with integrating with Google Maps is nice. Um, with RoadSync, it's a push email solution. Uh, it also supports uh, HTML messages. Um, so one of the things that we found, found was quite nice and really easy to integrate with was synchronizing HTML email messages to the device. We tapped into uh, Google's APIs to do that, uh, and we were able to turn that feature on uh, relatively quickly. Um, so that was a nice enhancement. So um, since you're here at I.O., is there anything that you particularly enjoyed or anything that's going to stay with you when you go back? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, this I particularly enjoyed is the, the free HTC Magic device that all attendees got. Um, and for my engineers and my product team, this is going to stick with me when I go back. Um, but now it's really good um, just to be able to test a lot of these new features that we've been showcasing uh, on a device that supports it is it, really good. Well, that's great. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for having us.